First tonight, East Midlands Today has been given special access to look at how a stately home in Nottinghamshire is being transformed into the UK's main military rehabilitation centre. And there are also plans to treat civilians at Stanford Hall who've been injured in accidents. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has the details. The secluded grounds of Stanford Hall have become a vast construction site. It's a makeover that's designed to rebuild shattered lives. This is a bird's eye view of what's known as the Defence and National Rehabilitation Centre. When it's finished, it'll be able to accommodate up to 300 injured military personnel. I mean, you're looking at a big hole here. This is swimming pools, but it's not just one swimming pool. There are other pools with it, notably hydrotherapy. This is brain injury, uh, the neuro wing in other words, and probably you're looking at what will be the most sophisticated bit of design. You don't often build something where you're reasonably clear that the legacy will be a big one. We've built it, so it will serve its purpose for at least another 70 or 80 years. Stanford Hall is going to replace this outdated centre at Headley Court in Surrey. That's rehabilitated hundreds of British casualties from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. People like JJ and Ibra, who lost his arm in a roadside bomb blast. I went through the whole process of rehabilitation and 18 months later I was back in Iraq. I actually learnt to uh, use a rifle again and I'm actually left eye dominant so I can actually shoot better now because I use my left hand and my left eye. This particular project will make the same difference that Headley Court made to me. Headley Court became the gold standard for the time, but it was, it was bursting at the seams. And three years from now, I can't believe I'm actually going to be stood uh, you know, in part of the complex trauma wing you know, that, uh, that, that's being created. It's incredible. And lessons learned in recent conflicts have prompted huge medical advances, which are now saving lives in hospitals here in the East Midlands. And now they're working on plans for a separate civilian unit here at Stamford Hall. The patients that this facility will care for will be those involved in road traffic accidents, um, farm accidents and so on. And the NHS service um, that will be provided from this magnificent facility will literally be world class. That will include physio, occupational therapy, psychological support. There is a significant shortage of rehabilitation facilities. It will make a world of difference. As you can see, there's still a huge amount of work to do here and the first part of this centre won't open for at least another two years. But when it does, it's going to put this quiet corner of Nottinghamshire into the national spotlight. Jeremy Ball, BBC East Midlands Today at Stamford Hall.